Well, in, in so far as the uh, drug assessment, lalong-lalo na yung ating uh, anti-legal drugs campaign headed by uh, no other than uh, our president, with uh, almost uh, more than five years in his service as the president, uh, I would safely say na we've been gaining grounds no, on the anti-legal drug campaign, uh, considering that uh, we've been uh, recovering and apprehending series of uh, drug users, drug pushers, and hindi lang yon kundi yung malalaking uh, ano, fishes na na-recover din natin yung kanilang mga illegal drugs. Uh, dito lang sa 4A, when I became the regional director, we have recovered there at least 400 kilos. No? The first time that uh, a recovery of such huge amount of uh, kilos uh, and uh, napakalaki yung recovery natin sa 4A. And dito lang sa NCRPO, uh, with almost uh, six months of uh, stay here as NCRPO director, we have recovered at least 200 kilos dito na. Okay, so continuous yung ating uh, recovery and apprehensions and uh, yung iba naman, they met their uh, untimely death uh, during the campaign of our anti-legal drugs. Well, bilang isang pangulo no? at saka lalong-lalo na yung uh, uh, pangulo ng bansa as a police officer na katulad namin it boosts the moral ng ating uh, hierarchy in command lalong-lalo na sa law enforcement agencies because uh, lalo tayong nai-inspire na manghuli at uh, gumawa ng uh, accomplishments no? lalong-lalo na sa anti-illegal drug campaign natin Dahil no less than the President has the mandate of uh, doing it. No? And uh, ito ay hindi lang about anti-legal drugs. It concerns about anti-criminality, anti-terrorism, and most particularly itong ating anti-legal drugs. Kasama na rin dito yung pagsupo ng katiwilian o corruption sa ating uh, pang-araw-araw na gawain. The opposition are saying na napaka-bloody raw na uh, anti-drug campaign ni President Duterte. Well, siguro bloody in the sense na ano, na we have to defend ourselves. Okay? Kaya nga drug war eh. Wala naman siguro ng war na hindi magiging bloody. Okay? Uh, as long as the police is doing their best, especially when their life is in danger in defending themselves, crossing the line of uh, doing its best in their anti-legal drug campaign, eh definitely. Uh, blood will come along the way. No? So, hindi naman natin kagustuhan yan. Kung makikita ninyo, ilang polis na ang naging biktima. Sa aking time lang, kung di ako magkamali, meron na yata mga lima na nadali in my uh, NCRPO time. Yung iba rito ay uh, talagang inambush ng uh, suspected uh, drug pushers. No? And uh, yung mga iba rito, kawawang polis, kawawang naging uh, biktima din. Dahil they were ambushed na hindi naman dapat. No? So talagang very bloody nga kasi uh, drug war nga eh. Okay? And uh, kung kinakailangan gamitin natin the full arm of the law in getting these people, then uh, we have to do it. As the police general, uh, one of the key leaders from the PNP, ano masasabi niyo sir sa pagiging bigay ng Pangulo? I will kill all of the drug pushers during this term. Well, para sa akin, hindi naman siguro literally na I will kill all. No? Ang uh, para sa akin, in my own interpretation, ibig sabihin niyan para sa akin, you have to do it only, if and only, no? uh, the need arises. So, ibig sabihin, katulad ko, my life will be in danger. No? Alam nga naman magpabarila ko una. Okay? So, definitely not. Okay? Kaya nga drug war eh. And hindi natin maiwasan na meron talagang mga uh, scrupulous person na sa kanilang uh, hanay eh talagang meron din silang mga uh, firearms and kalimitan talaga diyan ay may firearms kasi alam mo magkapatid palagi yan eh if there are illegal drugs there will be illegal firearms yung iba nga legal legal na nakaka-acquire ng uh, firearms at yun ang medyo delikado ron okay and uh, along the way if you will uh, really uh, accomplish something 
and uh, apply for something, lalo na mga search warrant, by bus operation, talagang nangyayari yung hindi naman natin kagustuhan mangyari. Okay? So, ganun talaga uh, pag drug war. Uh, it entails the life, uh, risking the life of a law enforcer. And uh, nakita naman natin, sabi ko nga sa inyo, in my time alone, hindi lang dito sa NCRPO, pati sa mga previous assignments natin, uh, our people or our men on the ground selflessly sacrifice themselves uh, para lang uh, may save natin yung karamihan ng atin, lalo-lalo na sa mga kabataan. Sir, sa so speech incident in his complaint, sinabi niya, human lives yung kanyang in-save. Dito sa drug war, ang binabato ko sa kanya, nalalabaw doon yung human rights. So kayo po sa PNP, sir, ano po bang importante? Human lives to human rights, lalo po yung mga sospek sa illegal na droga, yung mga gumagamit sa illegal na drugs. Well, both of it will uh, work hand in hand, okay? Respecting the human rights is our most priority, siyempre. But siyempre, mas may human rights dapat yung mga biktima. Okay? And along that way, we are preserving the human life. Okay? Lahat naman tayo ay may karapatan, lalong-lalo na sa isang suspected criminal. And we always respect that. Unfortunately, there are some instances, kung hindi most of all, instances wherein we need to use the last resort, especially if the life of a law enforcer is in danger. Ganun talaga yun. Alam nga naman, hindi naman pwedeng magpauna tayo dyan. No? Paulit-ulit kung sinasabi yan. Kasi hindi lang ito minsan nangyari. Maraming beses na. Okay? Sabi ko nga, dito sa NCRPO, we have lost five policemen on the ground uh, trying to freeze and uh, trying to apprehend a person suspected of having an illegal drugs. Sir, sa ating uh, winning campaign against illegal drugs, sa so, turn po ni Presidente, gaano po kalaki sa ito yung hinabanan crime rate sa Uh, para sa akin, uh, it went down up to 40%. Okay? Uh, comparing to the previous uh, administration, no? uh, especially when uh, the law enforcers eh, tinutukan yung campaign against illegal drugs. Kasi alam nyo, history will tell us or statistics will tell us that sa 100% na kaso, 80% nito ay uh, one way or another connected with illegal drugs. Okay? Mapamarder, maparape, Akit bahay, hold up, one way or another, eh, connected sa illegal drugs. Ito yung findings ah, ng uh, different uh, uh, statistics given to us by the respective uh, uh, courts. Sir, sa panahon din po ni Presidente, at sa panahon din po niya, sir, ang uh, nabit po kayo sa PNP, maraming po, sir, na huling ng mga big fish, ng mga drug smugglers, uh, mga pushers. Your thoughts on that, sir? Yes, napakarami nang nahuli na mga big fish. Yung iba nga dyan, hanggang ngayon nakakulong. Yung iba met, then, uh, met their untimely death. And uh, sabi nga nung iba, eh bakit hanggang ngayon? Kung talaga maraming huli, bakit hanggang ngayon? Eh meron pa rin. Well, ganun talaga yan. Commodity yan eh. Ginawa ng commodity ng iba. Kaya nga, this will be a relentless campaign against them. Especially sa mga drug pushers. No? lalong-lalo na sa mga drug lords, kung makikita niyo Kasi kung hihinto tayo dahil sasabi mong wala ka nang nakikita, eh definitely papasok yan. Remember, we have how many islands in the whole archipelago? Napakalaki. And we cannot, hindi natin kayang bantayan every inch of the city, every inch of the town, or every entry point of our country. Napakalaki na pwedeng pagdurusotan ng mga illegal na droga nito. Kaya nga ito ay tuloy-tuloy na kampanya against illegal drugs at any time of the day and night. Sir, how is the drug war campaign now that PRD is in its final stretch? Last year po niya, sir, in this administration. Uh, being a law enforcer on our part, no, we've been doing our best, especially on ano. Kaya nga sabi ko, so far, itong NCRPO, in my time, we have uh, recovered more than 200 kilos. Okay, and uh, hindi lang sa NCRPO, pati yung PIDEA, kasama na rito yung PIDEG. So kung ikokombine mo, Recently lang, mga ilang tonelada na rin. Although, sabihin natin na baka kulang pa, pero we're doing our best to really uh, catch up or try to uh, recover everything hanggang uh, kaya natin. Okay? But comparing to other uh, administrations, kung titignan nyo yung kilos, kung ilan ang na-recover, eh napakalaki. Eh, just imagine pag ito ay nakalusot o napabayaan natin sa kalsada, eh, napakalaking damage ito sa ating mga kabataan, lalong-lalo na sa inusenteng sibilyan. Paano kaya sir ang 
Pilipinas kung hindi ito naging priority ng Presidente Duterte? Ang naging ganyan ang problem Well, siguro, baka katulad na tayo ng ibang country, katulad ng Mexico. Imagine, ang police, ang judges, ang politiko, kung hindi man engaged, they are uh, unjustly being killed anywhere and everywhere. No? So, we're almost there actually. Uh, kung hindi ako magkamali, ha? Uh, kasi kung makikita ninyo, ang daming halos politiko na uh, involved. No? Mabuti nga yung iba, lumayas yung iba, nangamatay, yung iba naglaylo. No? Kasi parang naging commodity na lang eh. Yung uh, illegal na droga which is hindi naman dapat. Okay, Pero alam niyo kasi napakalaking ano to eh, napakalaking uh, negosyo kumbaga. And uh, we expect that the drug lords also will do everything para may pagpatuloy yung kanilang negosyo. And they are buying everything eh, hindi lang sa law enforcers, pati sa ating mga judges, lahat na. So hangga't kaya nilang bayaran para ipagpatuloy yung negosyo, then they will do it. Yes, uh, definitely. Kasi illegal drugs, no, is uh, marami dyan ang uh, talagang they are equipped with technologies, gadgets, firearms most especially. And they can, ang masakit dito, they can even buy yung kabaro natin. Yun ang masakit doon. So hindi mo alam kung sino rito ang sayo. Baka mamaya may kasama ka dyan, pati pala siya, kasama na rin. And syempre, hand in hand, it goes dyan yung corruption. Syempre, di ba? So, usually kasi yan, illegal drugs, corruption, kung minsan magkakasama yan. Eh. Siyempre, pag uh, kaya ka nilang bilhin, eh, di madali na lang lahat para sa kanila. So, kailangan magkatandem yan. No? Kung gaano ka katigas sa illegal drugs, dapat ganun ka rin. Mag-say no if somebody would offer you huge amount just in exchange for something for their own advantage. Even though illegal yung poprotektahan mo. Yun ang medyo mabigat dyan. So, usually, it come uh, hand in hand. Patapos po ang federal natin, Pangulo. So, drug work of <coughs> Nararapat po ba, sir, na pasalamatan ng mamayang Pilipino, sambayang Pilipino, ang ating Pangulo, na ito po isa sa mga naging focus na kanyang administrasyon, yung laban kontra illegal na droga? Yes, para sa akin po, eh, we are very thankful and grateful for having a leader na nag-focus on the anti-criminality campaign Okay, anti-illegal drugs lalo na and anti-terrorism campaign. Ano? Uh, it has been a no-nonsense uh, uh, campaign against uh, all forms of illegal activities, specifically illegal drugs. No? Very seldom that we can have a leader with this kind of motivation and to inspire its soldiers to uh, uh, go beyond of uh, serving and even to the extent of sacrificing ourselves just to accomplish the mission lalong lalo na on the anti-legal drug campaign. So napakalaking tulong po na nagkaroon tayo ng isang presidente na katulad ni Tatay Digong okay, na ganun ka-motivated ang tao para magsakripisyo. Buwis buhay, kumbaga. Yes, definitely po. So, regardless po kung sino ang manalo, uh, dapat po isustain yung ating fight against forms of any illegal activities, anti-criminality, lalong-lalo na yung anti-illegal drugs. Okay, this should be a, an utmost uh, priority concern uh, because it uh, concerns the lives of innocent children, innocent civilians, and it even costs national security. Okay? Kasi marami yan. Pwede magsama yan, narco-terrorism, narcotics, and uh, terrorism, pwede magkasabay yan. Uh, narcotics could even finance terrorism. So just imagine the cost of lives na pwede mangyari kung papabayaan natin to along the way. So dapat tuloy-tuloy ang programa kahit matapos na ang termino ni Tatay Digong. Last time, sir, hindi ako na NCRPO. Ito po, sir. Ano po minsan niya, sir? Kay Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Uh, unang-una, uh, in behalf of the Philippine National Police, kay uh, Tatay Digong, sir, 
maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng suporta na binigay po ninyo sa ating uh, kapulisan. It keeps us inspired to do our work for the good of our community. Lalo po kaming nabigyan ng sapat na lakas at inspirasyon. Even sacrificing our own lives para po maprotektahan natin ang ating mga kababayan. Asahan po ninyo ng inyong kapulisan ay laging magbibigay ng serbisyong tama. Tapat, may tapang at malasakit para sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino.